Hey gang, this is Harry. Hope you're doing well today. This video is about selecting a screen, an image, for a button and then rotating it every 15 seconds. First you'll need to grab a horizontal arrangement. I got that under screen arrangement. Just grab it and drag it over. Then you'll need a, a button. Just grab it, drag it over. And then you need a clock. Drag it over. Now, on the clock, I set it to 15,000 milliseconds, and I unchecked timer enabled. Now, 15,000 milliseconds will be 15 seconds. Now, for the image, I took away the text, but I added an image, one PNG, and you'll notice I have other images, two through five. You'll know that important later. Open up your blocks editor. Here's what it looks like, completed. No great shakes, but to begin with, you gotta grab a definition, a variable. Then you have to name it. This distance, I named it image number. Then I added a number block. And I began with the number one, as you can see on top. Next, I did a screen initialize. So I grabbed the screen initialize and dragged it over. And in it, I set a clock enable. So we'll grab clock timer enable. Then you, on the logic, you click true. Then you grab the clock timer, which is usually on the top. You bring that out. And then you set global image number, which is under your definitions. To a random integer. So you select that, attach it. You'll have from and to what you do is you add uh, two number blocks, similar to the one there. So you go in built-in, math, just grab the number. And I did the first one, one and five, to correspond with the number of images I did. All right, next. Now every 15 seconds, this thing will fire. I'll select that random image. Then it'll set the image number. So you grab set button image. Then you go to text join. Next under my blocks and my definitions, grab the global image number variable. And stick that in the first uh, join, and then the second one, text, and you type in period PNG, which is the image file extension, or if it's JPEG, put JPEG. And then you start your emulator, connect to the device, and this is how it works. Every 15 seconds, there's a fire. Now we got some bananas. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to add a few bells and whistles to this. I'll also make a different version on how to select random images using a different way. Now lastly, you don't have to have the clock. You can just set the random integer snippet into the screen initialize. It depends how you want to do it. There's a particular reason why I'm doing it this way, but you could do it the other way as well.